Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be talking about something that most people are actually overlooking, and that's the idea of everyone investing in their own personal brand. Now, when you hear the word brand, the first thing you're probably thinking is some company or a person trying to sell you something or take your money. But in 2020, the reality is through our digital presence, each and every one of us has our own personal brand. And the way people perceive us depends how we brand ourselves. Now, that may be absolutely clear. I'm not talking about branding yourself so people like you are making yourself look like a cool person through your social media. But what I am talking about is branding yourself in a professional way. And I'm gonna talk about two different reasons in this video of why that is so important and what it'll do for you. And of course, before jumping into it, I wanna do a quick plug for my own personal brand. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my email newsletter called The Weekly Download. Once a week, I share productivity tips, lessons I've learned throughout the week, and a quick little email. Those lessons I really can't put into a video format. It's been a great way for me to share valuable content with the rest of you. Be sure to subscribe to that using the link down below in the description. All right, the first reason why you should be building a personal brand and honestly the most relatable reason for most people is that building a personal brand is a new way of finding a job. Now, I have a feeling that most of you watching have probably gone through the process of searching for a job in the past couple of years, whether it was the first time you were applying for a job or you're trying to advance your own career by looking for a new job. You probably went through that process of working on your resume, making it look nice, and then applying to a bunch of different websites online but not hearing back from most of them or getting a generic rejection email in your email when you do hear back. Look, it's 2020. If you haven't caught on by now, the old way of applying for jobs is not going to work anymore. And the whole concept of having a resume, that's going to go away too. And the reason being is there's so many people out there that are just as qualified as you. Spending hours and hours perfecting your resume design and submitting it to a thousand places online, that's not going to work. You're competing against so many other qualified individuals the people today that are applying for jobs are just as qualified as you. If you really want to find that dream job or really want to get that title that you've been working towards or even if you're happy with the current job that you have and you just want to keep your options open, the best way to find a job in today's world is building your personal brand. When you invest time in your personal brand, you're building a way to stand apart from the competition. And when it comes time for recruiters to choose between multiple candidates, who do you think they're going to pick? The software engineer who got a bunch of good grades in college or the software engineer who has a blog, who has been talking about the latest tech in the industry and has a social media presence with a bunch of projects that they've been working on on their own time. Obviously, the recruiter is going to want to pick the candidate that has been more vocal about the work that they're doing and been putting their work out there for the world to see. And on top of that, this applies to any industry, not just tech. Now, don't get me wrong, education is still super important, but honestly, it's not enough anymore in today's world. You have to put your work out there, and that is a much more effective way of getting yourself noticed in the crowds of people who are trying to do the same thing that you're doing. And by doing this, you're also building a community around your work of like-minded individuals who have similar interests to what you're doing. And that network alone is so valuable. All right, moving on, the next reason why you should build a personal brand is that it'll allow you to do what you truly love to do. For me personally, for as long as I can remember, I've been looking for a job that makes me feel fulfilled. After graduating college, I've had a few moments where I thought I loved my job, but those moments would always fade away after time. I always thought if I got a promotion or found a new company to work for, I would get that satisfaction I was looking for, but that never came. And to be completely honest, I got to the point where I was really questioning if I chose the right career path because I wasn't sure if I would ever feel content with the work that I was doing. Doing. Now the amazing thing about having a personal brand is you're in full control of what it's all about. And for some people, you can make your personal brand a reflection of what your full-time job is if that's something you really love to do. For example, if you're a nurse and you love nursing, you can make a personal brand around nursing. Or if you're a lawyer, you can make a personal brand around legal work. But for other people like myself, you can make your personal brand something completely different than what your professional life is about. And you'll really love what you do that way. Again, for me, I've been working in IT and project management management my whole career and I love tech, I love working on big projects, but I don't find this work fulfilling. I don't have a meaningful impact going into this work. That's why I love my YouTube work so much. What I truly do love doing is helping other people and helping people with their own careers, making them more productive. You'll see all my videos lately have been around those topics. 
and this work does not feel like work to me. This is something I truly love to do and it's super easy for me to build a personal brand around this. If you don't have that passion or love for the thing that you're making a brand about, it's gonna be really hard to do that. You have to find something you're super passionate about to build a personal brand around it. And the amazing thing about this, you never know where your personal brand will lead you. For me personally, I am trying my best to get my personal brand to replace my full-time job. But for other people, your personal brand might be a way to supplement your full-time job. You never know what opportunities are gonna come from your personal brand. By putting your work out there, by building influence in your community, you're gonna have a bunch of doors be presented to you that you wouldn't normally have. So now that we've talked about why it's so important to have a personal brand, I plan on making videos moving forward that talk about different ways you can actually do this. How to find your passion, how to find your niche, how to find different ways to post your content on different platforms. I have a bunch of fun stuff coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you watched all the way through. Please do me a favor, leave a comment down below just saying hi or something you learned in this video. I love responding to you there. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.